Hello, welcome back. I'm Dodge in twenty four. I am High Flyer fifteen. This is Riveted TV's Newbie Night. In part one, we went through the basics of some tanks. Uh, we went through the general characteristics of them and what you should do when you meet them and if you want to avoid them or if you want to do whatever you please. Um, then we, in part two, we kind of went into what to do in practice, how to read the team, how to read the enemy team, and how to read the minimap as the game progresses. And in part three, we're going to continue that trend. It seems to be the most effective way of explaining the sort of set situations you get into, how you can use your platoon or your yourself effectively in your mark markup. You can't play the same way in every single battle, even in the same tank, because you'll have different tanks, you'll be in a different point in the group. You can be top tier, you can be bottom tier. You can't do the same thing if you're at top and bottom of the same tank. You have to do something different. So that's cool. Um, if you have a suggestion of sort of um, tanks you want to see, then let us know and we'll get back into the game. So should we do some light tanks? Uh, people seem to want to see a combination with light tanks. So I have picked the Chaffe. The Chaffe. Okay, we can actually two Chaffees and I'll go for the VK. Now this is actually a very unusual platoon and I would actually recommend against doing this mm -hmm. because you really should go with support. You should go with scouts with artillery or maybe some heavy tanks, some sniper tanks, like Louvies. Take two Louvies with a scout tank. However, let's just have some fun and see what we can do with three high-tier um, scout tanks. Mm -hmm. Let's rock and roll. Rolling with the rocks. Ah, and we got a perfect map for us, really. Stabs is probably the best thing we can do, and what a surprise we give it to a tier 10. That was kind of expected. Yes. So, um, yeah, apart from being scouts, what would you do right Well, now? the first thing to note is the artillery. There are three artilleries. Two of them are huge. There's two enemy scouts. Both are easy prey for our tanks. They're the uh, ELC and the AMX 12 ton are better against heavy tugs than they are against light. The VK20801 can two shot the AMX 12 ton and one shot the ELC easily. The Chaffee also can out combat the AMX 12 ton very easily. So we have better scouts than them. But we have to be afraid of the Lorraine and the uh, T54 because they can easily do us in a 1 1 fight, of course. Uh, not, a, not like you expect any different. So our objective here is just to keep the enemy lit up, try and survive, and eventually try and get hold of the artillery. We also are the protectors for the artil our artillery by making sure we have to kill the enemy scouts before they get into positions. So we have to spread out and not really work together as such, but we have to communicate well, and there we go, our first target is spotted. Oh, and he just do he's just doing a round. Yeah, I thought I'd try the... Uh, Fluke shot to see if I could grab him, but I couldn't. Yep, and I'm just not caring. <laughs> because, well, if he's running away, he... Oh, oh. what happened there? I have no idea. He pushed forward a lot and then got killed. Oh, and the, oh! Yep. the ELC was trying to get to that corner, E1. There's a perfect corner for him to just sit in, in a bush. If he gets there early, then um, he can just sit there and spot the um, our team uh, without being spotted himself, because either we will push forward or they will push... Um, will just sit there and get spotted by the 50 meter rule. So, yeah. um, I knew I was spotted then, and I started moving just then. The GW Tiger hit where I was. He managed to blow off my track and do a lot of damage. Your father sitting still, I was dead. The reason I knew he's targeting us, because we're the biggest threats for them right now. A lot of artillery players look after number one first. And that's not necessarily such a stupid thing. But uh, definitely they have better targets to deal with than a VK right now. Yep. yep. Right now, Lerva is just moving forward. Um, looks like they're... Most of our tanks are just sitting back over on um, E1, not doing much. Did you hit the Louvre? I hit the Louvre but didn't do any damage because he was aiming at me and I started reversing but he did hit me still. When he gets closer I'm going to try and uh, just go around him. But right now he's doing nothing. He's aiming he's for me. Aiming at you, yeah. So. Yeah. 
Stop being the. Trying, I'm trying to distract him so he can stay in the open field, but he's uh. Get over here instead. Just um, go on the long, long path. You can spot me in a second, so I'm gonna move now. I'm gonna go around the hill. He's m aiming this way. No, he's not. I'll go around him. Has he hit you? He hit me, but he bounced. <laughs> Lucky. Okay, the AMX 12 ton is making a run for artillery. This is what I've been waiting for. I don't want to get out of position because I knew the AMX would be coming any second now. And I want to try and kill him. i got to be careful though because a single shot from him now will kill me because of the Louvre. Um, there he is. And... Killed the Louvre. Got him! That That's Louvre again was... map reading. I saw the AMX, I saw where he was positioned when he fought a behemoth earlier, and I knew where he was waiting to do the mid um, inter game rush. This is something I didn't expect though. The T54 is doing the exact same thing, so help! I'm coming. He's looking my way, so uh, don't worry. He's yep, got support. My I, way. I, I think he's unsupported. No, he's got support. But the E75 is coming here, and. Uh, Oh, he's looking at you. Engaging. Tracked him. Enemy is hit. Enemy five shoots. Coming forward with the gold shot. Got him. So the E75 didn't go out to help, or what? Did he just useless? Ah, well, nearly one of those. Well, come on, kill it, kill it, kill it. Ah, oh, I did no damage. Good. Come on, E75. Thank you. Jeez. <laughs> Ooh, um, I had to risk my neck twice for that thing. Okay, what's supporting it? What was it firing from their base? There was e definitely something. E50, E50, he died to, uh, I think it was artillery. And Fantastic. right now the uh, LSB is having trouble. But you can go over there, and go all there, and um, you can actually flank the Yak Tiga and get him in one shot, I think. Unless mm. he gets killed out by the artillery. I actually, um, there's three enemy artillery still. We're losing all our artillery, so I want to go and try and even that score. Okay. I think that's, I don't think there's any more base defenders. Mm. No. Nope. Nope. But they can just splash you. Have you been spotted? Yes, definitely. Okay. Uh oh. Oh, Aww. you're fucking joking! Where is their other artillery? Gotta keep moving. Thank you, Behemoth. Oh no, Highflyer. Oh. He's gonna get me. There's no way I can avoid this guy. Nope. Nope. Is he, he's even turning. His 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 reticle is as big as possible, and he still hit you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the splash, because of my health, I knew that any splash would get me. That's why I try to go across him to, to make him turn to even more. But uh, no, it wasn't going to happen. But there you go. I managed to kill one of their tier 8s, but it was too little. Sorry, tier 7s. It was too little, too late. Um, our team's already been decimated. And um, they're going to be annihilated any second now. So I was unfortunate. But <laughs> we were uh, playing our best for three scout tanks in a tier 10. So. Mm. Ah, nice. Right, should we see this result? Because I think it's a no, pretty long conclusion. I don't, I don't think it but maybe. Well, Rain is aiming for the E100. And we haven't seen the IS-7. Oh, I haven't. But... Come on. Oh, okay, the IS-7 just killed the IS-3. Isn't that the useless one that let you die, though? Yeah, it is. Um, but he doesn't have the big gun, so... Yeah, you see, so the E75 guys, you got to realize that we knew this guy was bad from the start because of the way he's been... You see, he's he may be the last guy alive, but there's a reason he's the last guy alive. He's been out of position all game. <laughs> so he's not really been in danger, and he's not really been doing any DPS either. So that was unfortunate. 
Um, let's do a tier five med heavy-ish platoon. I'll do the Crusader. I'll do oh. the M4. The KV1. That was good. Oh my god, nearly a thousand XP. All right, yeah, let's check this, actually. Let's see the team scores. Now, look oh at this, god. guys. Look at this, okay? <laughs> Behemoth was the first to take out by an unlucky artillery strike. But look at this. The two scouts, scouts at the top by far. Tier 5s and a tier 10 scout, and we had more than double anyone else on our team. And from direct damage, too, not by yep. spotting damage, direct yep. damage. That's, that shows that there's sometimes nothing you can do. <laughs> I hate to blow my own horn, but freaking hell, there's sometimes nothing you can do. Yeah, that was, that was, that was pretty weird. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, that was that was one of them games. One of them games you just say, you know, whatever. Okay, a tier five fight. This is great fight. I like I like these. Mostly tier fives. We're part of the average. We've got to play solid. We can we can't overplay, but we can't we we can't underplay. We have to be there at the front line because we're top tier and there's lots of top tier. Cool. High flyer. What's your plan, good sir? Um. I'm just thinking going to the middle, you know, uh, maybe to this to the um, to the east because um, we are medium tanks and we can't just tank several shots from the um, from the bridge. So um, let's go. So the first things first about the start of the game, guys. Once you've already looked at the list and know your role, look at the teams. Whoa, this is not turning. Uh, look at where your team is moving on the minimap. Watch the minimap, look up. Watch the minimap, look up. Watch the minimap, look up. Keep doing that because you need to see where your team are going. You want to mostly watch the minimap. You can see a lot of them moving over to the west. That's cool. It's exactly what High Flyer said would happen. And we're going to take, as medium tanks, the west, so east. So that's cool. Okay, they're pushing through the bridge. So um, I don't think I'm going back, actually. Um, actually, it's just a KV-1 that pushed through, but still. Are you bloody kidding me? Oh, I've got some really strange lag. Oh, come on! Ugh. No! All that damage was lag re related. Thanks. Oh, come on! A little rain was aiming where I was sitting. All the time. <laughs> Go on. Apparently so. What? Where did that guy get me? My engine is gone, so I couldn't keep moving. But Behemoth is still carrying the name for us. Go, go, Behemoth. But the enemy team is all but gone now. Yeah. So whatever we did was enough. <laughs> I always thought you got more XP for damaging higher targets, High Flyer. Um, it's more the um, oh, what's it called? Um, well, with the more gun, you have the, the, the tier you have um, the tier you're in. For example, if I'm in a KV two and I have the derp gun, that tier or that tank is specific to get a certain amount of XP per damage it deals. So if I get in, into a tier oh, ten battle okay. and do in two shots with premium shells, I will earn okay. 1,000 uh, XP just by two shells because I penetrate and do 1,400 damage. So, um, and we did a lot of damage to to tier to tier nine. Yeah. yeah, and that's why you okay. all that's that's why you gotta slaughter almost the entire team in a tier five battle to get any to good get XP. Any. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was just the amount of XP, sorry, HP available to, to kill, basically. Yeah, so that, that's the, the, yeah, I don't know. They, they're, they're so shy about telling about that. And the other thing about the credits that they, oops, suddenly we forgot to add that into the game. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So there's many things that's unclear about so many things, but that's just what I've noticed with KV2. So I just put that thing on the on the other tanks. Uh, during part three of a newbie night, we normally answer the questions. Um, tonight we're just playing and showing you the sort of stuff that's going on. Uh, so if you've got any questions, feel free to ask them in the chat, and we will answer them whenever we get a moment. Um, you pick a tier, uh, Behemoth. You haven't picked one yet. So. And we'll make this our final battle of the night. So if you've got any questions, we'll gladly answer them uh, for a few minutes afterwards. But uh, Newbie Night is, generally speaking, an hour and a half long, three segments of 30 minutes. So if you just tuned in, sorry, but you can catch it on the Riveting TV archive on YouTube. And that's that should be updated within a day. Behemoth is very good at doing that. The other shows that we've done in the past, like the Battle Mechanics style uh, videos for the uh, wiggling and the side scraping, that sort of stuff, that's all there as well. But that's actually also on uh, the Rising Sun YouTube channel, which all should be linked below. If you want to follow us on Twitter, I'm starting to try and use that thing. So follow us at Riveting TV on Twitter or Dorjan R. And you are also HiFi underscore 15 and the Rising Sun, aren't you, HiFi? Yes. So you follow us on Twitter. I'm trying to use it a little bit more so you can get updated as quickly as something happens. And I'm throwing out ideas and just talking to people on there a bit more. We haven't got a Facebook yet, but probably in a few weeks once I've moved into my new house, we'll probably do that. And yeah, so apart from that, we are going for... <laughs> do you know what? I'm actually going to go in my scout. Great. Oh, and... Uh... Rizal has asked me why I haven't started training the skills on my M4 Sherman. That's because the uh, Americans are coming in the next patch, and I want a crew to be able to transfer directly over to that one, uh, the new tanks coming there, cool. without losing any percentages, so I can have 100% crew from the start. So if we go back on topic and see that the uh, battle we just rolled is perfect. What yeah. do you say? You're all at the bottom. Exactly. We have two artillery and a scout, and we're at the bottom. That's perfect. That's exactly where you want to be. And you just got to play it smart, careful, and do as much damage as you can. If you don't win, you'll, you'll walk away with a lot of credits and a lot of XP anyway, um, if you play your cards right. So, yeah, let's see what happens. Yep. You go, go, are you going to the bush? Yeah, I'm going to go to the Ford bush to protect you guys. I um, have just realized that my tank here is not on auto-reload, so I have 13 shells. What? Yeah. You don't put all your tanks on auto-reload? It was We were messing around in training uh, in a newbie Monday ages ago, and I used my VK, and we did a tier 5 scout battle with everybody, and I loaded up with gold shells for shits and giggles. And so I didn't want that on auto-reload. So, <laughs> oh, okay. I haven't switched it on since. Okay. There we go. I uh, just have to calculate the distance. Please, someone do that. Yeah, Behemoth! There we go. T-54, damaged already. <clears throat> I shouldn't have fired then. I'm probably spotted, but fuck it, I had to. <laughs> I could have killed the, the AMX. Yeah, uh, I think we would have been better off with the spottings, actually. <laughs> oh yeah, I know. It was just one of the moments where you go, I just gotta do this. But yeah. I'm gonna go back to the bush now, and if I die, I die. If I don't, I don't. But I'll get some more spotting. There we go. Hmm. Good man. Should I try and take the AMX? No, I'll go for the uh, the same as the. The AMX is near useless now. Any sort of brushing will uh, get him. That's what I was going for. I was trying to kill him because I was like, mm, if I roll high with my derp gun, I can kill him. And that's <laughs> what I, 
I couldn't help it. It's the AMX. It's their only scout-ish tank. I know it's not really a scout tank, but it's their only fast tank that's threatening our artillery. So for me, he was top priority. Oh. What's he doing? Okay, well, if he dies, then their best tank in the matchmaking sense is dead. So... I think he's going for you, actually. Yep. But had to move. He's tracked. I can't aim for him. Yeah, okay. STI, go for it. Rock on. Um, T thirties highly likely just sitting in the bushes back in the base. Uh, so shouldn't really worry about those. T29. Oh, okay. My mistake. Um, a T30 up here. I'm gonna aim for it. Let's hope he stops for, to aim. Oh, he does. So, yeah, so as you guys uh, saw at the start, I shouldn't have really shot that AMX. There was no reason for me to do that. It was purely me dicking around <laughs> trying to kill the AMX because I thought I had to. Um, if I was playing 100% seriously and this was, let's say, a Clan Wars match, I would not have fired. Because there was so much damage artillery could have done um, <laughs> if I was uh, not doing that. The suggestion is what we're doing tonight, and that is one by someone who isn't actually here tonight to see his own episode aired, and that is uh, User X or Luke. Is his two um, names? Okay, I'm not spotting anything anymore, and all the forces are really engaged up the top there. So I'm going to see if I can get to a better position up forward, and see if I can get away with being here. Yep. Um. I just fired at the um, I can't ex I can't um, pronounce that name. Car Navon. the English one. Carnavon, yes, uh, and the Tiger as well, uh, because they bunched up. Actually, the tier eight was trying to push his teammates forward, so he had more um, cover. So I provided him with cover with a wreck of his buddy and 300 HP HP left uh, lost. So. So that the uh, KV4 and the T29 are lit up like Christmas trees, and they should go down any second now by our team. Let's move them forward. Although we've got to be careful with the enemy artillery. And is there? T34 has also been spotted now. T4. Okay, now I'm going to move forward. My my job as spotter is kind of over. I can now try my run against the artillery to put them into panic. They're the only things that really could turn this uh, around for their team right now. So if I can go locate their tier nine TD and or their artillery, I've done my secondary job. And is that their big TD over there? It could be there. No, there is. Okay, so yeah, I now know where both their big TDs are. And the last thing left is to find their artillery. If I can do that, then this game is in the bag. Even if the artillery just see that I'm coming and panic and run away, that's me also doing my job. So all I need to do is, there they are, okay. Hit the TD. He's coming for you, 13 kilometers an hour. Watch out, watch out. He's running. And you fire at the, the one that is far away. Aiming for you, of course, good choice. Let's go back to this one. The one is dying. So- I thought I killed him. <laughs> My shot landed at the exact right moment. But there you go, even a scout can do a lot of damage at the back, uh, causing riots. If the artillery are shooting at a scout that's trying to go near them, they're not shooting at your big tanks. So even if they do get you and you don't kill all their artillery, you've still done your job. He's going to try and drown, I think. The Lure. Oh. I'm going to go spot him then. What's it called? What's it as a proper complaint? And the play? Say. I don't think he can drown there where he is. Uh, if he just stays there, he will, I think, because he's just sitting there. No, he's too high, look. <laughs> awesome. I will fire. Oh, him. he managed to get me by the ammo rack. Lol. The ammo rack? The ammo rack, me, the little bastard. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm gonna fire at him in a second, see if I can kill him. No, not enough. But he died. <laughs> yeah. Worth it. Well I wanna see the results. This battle was a very interesting one for us. We were the bottom tiers, obviously, but we were in the perfect battle for us. So I'm expecting some good results for us. Top. In the top. There we go. By and large, at the top. If you ever want to know how to scout properly, guys, and how to use a scout, ask for the replay and I'll hand it out for you. That was near perfect. The only mistake I made was at the start where I decided to shoot the Air Max instead of sitting there scouting. Um, if you have a look at me, although I died at the end there, I did 4,000 damage upon spotting and 1,500 damage with my actual gun. So, pff, you know, why not? Um, my obviously artillery friends did really uh, well as well, and they did um, excellent XP damage for themselves for the tier group as well. Um, we by far did enough to turn the battle. If I wasn't there, the battle could have gone a completely different way so that's really shows you the importance of knowing your role for the battle it's really important that you look at the listings at the start of the battle and say okay i need to be doing this for this battle because if i don't that will be missing and knowing what your team can do and what's expected of you without having to say anything is a really important skill you can learn to make yourself win a lot more so cool is there any questions any questions because we're gonna wrap up now and we'll be yeah tomorrow is the night we start late for the platoon night isn't it uh, yes isn't it yes it is so tonight we won't be around until later in the evening um the show might start at eight and we'll just hang out for a bit and we'll start playing games at nine central or is it Nine. Oh, ten cent. Is it ten century you get back? Yeah, nine, nine thirty. Nine thirty. Yeah. No, I don't have my new computer yet. It's within two weeks. Everything should be sorted. You should know everything over the next couple of days. In fact, to prove, to prove um, everything is progressing, I got a, I got a web page for you. Um, here we are. I'm going to throw it into the chat to prove everything is um, progressing. My job has now been opened up to three positions, but uh, <laughs> my job has been opened up now on my old web uh, like company I worked for. Well, I still work for them, and uh, there's no hard feelings at all. There's, you know, it's, it's, it's absolutely wonderful. So if you are a web developer and you want to take my old job, then by all means, go for it. <laughs> Have fun. Um, anyway, so that's all that done. Um, anything to think of? We have Thursday is still not procast because of the complications we've got. They should return once I get back in the hot seat in a couple of weeks' time. But until then, we'll be just doing our usual um, playing seriously and maybe even invade Russia again on a more serious basis, like you know, tier tens consistently for the entire night or something like that. Um, Anything else, High Flyer? No, no, that's about it. Um, if you want to get email updates about when the show goes live, when we do spontaneous casting, which we occasionally do, hit the follow button. If you want to see more of us when we're offline, go over to YouTube. You'll see The Rising Sun and The Riveting TV Archive. Both links should be below. Follow us on Twitter because I'm you know, trying to tweet more. And that's about it. I'm yeah. Dorjan. I'm High Flyer 15. We're everything TV, and you've been lovely. See you later. Yes. Mwah. <laughs>